Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I just wanted to film a quick video uh, about reflections in Lumion. Um, so in my opinion, there are three kinds of reflections that you can kind of add to a scene. Uh, one is the reflection planes, which is one that uh, I think people probably use the most, um, which is something that you should probably not use as much in my opinion, if it's something that you're using like eight or nine um, in each of your renders. If it's stills, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're doing animations though, it is something you should keep in mind, and I'm going to get into that in this video. Um, and the other ones are uh, the speed ray reflections, uh, which is something that Lumion has put in to just kind of help these like little like micro reflections almost. Um, they're, in my opinion, like the the speed ray reflections are kind of like the the fine detail shadows, but they're just for reflections. Like they're going to give you these like um, it just kind of help your scene going to kind of come to life with it. And then um, there's also the reflection control. So um, as you can see, that the thing that I just deleted was the reflection control uh, cube. <clears throat> and um, normally when you get all these like weird reflections like that, um, like up on the roof here and on the chairs, um, it's because you don't have one of these in. So I actually only learned this recently that if you don't have one of these in your scene, Lumion automatically makes the camera um, the reflection control, um, which when I learned that, I was kind of like, you know, it seemed a little bit weird because I was just like, well, what's the point of having that in then? Um, and I think in the overall, it's just to give more control. Um, I think uh, a big part of that is because in uh, in Lumion, um, if you make an animation, then the first frame will be the reflection control if you don't put it in. So the way that I kind of thought of it is like you're coming around like a corner or something like that, then you don't want your reflection to be based on the first frame because the reflection control will make almost like a 360 panorama and then project it onto all of the surfaces in the scene, which is why it's called projected reflections. Um, it is uh, fairly cheap. And I always just kind of threw one in anyways because I, I just put it at like, you know, a height like this. Uh, and then as you can see, everything kind of changes in the scene, but yeah, that is, uh, it was kind of interesting to know that because some people may be kind of messing around with it thinking that the reflections aren't going to work uh, because this is something that I thought too um, until I kind of found out that it will automatically make one for you. So I don't think that this is really that necessary to do for stills because if you're just taking a quick snapshot, then the camera is always going to be kind of in the position you want the reflections, I guess. So I think that this is actually only really best used um, with animation. So I could be wrong about that. Uh, if some people have some more information about that, I'd really appreciate it if you just wrote in the comments. Uh, I think I am right about that though. So it's just to, instead of having the first frame, as I said, as the, the always the set reflections for the animation because things could change, then this uh, reflection uh, cube will change that. Um, something I actually was going to show in this video uh, because I thought this worked, um, but it's something I just should mention that it does not work, is I used to uh, animate this reflection cube or control um, with advanced move and I just kind of make it move because I was like, oh, this will change the reflections. It does not. It's If you do an animation, um, as I said, it's either the first frame or the reflection cube, but it's locked in after that. You have to have one or the other um, because I was just doing some reading on the Lumion website and that is actually something that I found out. So basically prior to making this video, that's what I used to do because I thought it was doing something. Like I thought it would make the reflections look more realistic, um, but it really doesn't. So the second thing that I just kind of want to show and um, well, I guess before we hop in, I'll uh, just show this quickly. So as you can see, we have all these blue kind of reflections here. I go in the camera mode and now they're they're not really there anymore. So, um, you know, you can change the you can change it slightly. Um, like if you drop this in, um, you can make it kind of darker here. And the reason why that is, is because while Lumion is making one, if you drop it kind of right down on the ground, you're going to get sort of darker reflections. I don't know. It's uh, it's just something to keep in mind with that. But uh, I will uh, I will just go into uh, a blank scene here. So I'll just snap this shot. I'll go to add effect and then I'm going to go to reflection. So uh, when it comes in, uh, speed or reflections is not on. Um, I am going to get uh, into the performance of the reflections. I did, ran some tests, so I can kind of get into that. Uh, but for now, we're just going to kind of look at what this does. So if we click it on, as you can see, um, these areas down here are probably the easiest way to see it uh, and on the metal in the chair. So as I'm flicking it on, um, this is kind of like a really rough um, reflection. It's not that detailed. It is There is a reflection, so it's kind of passable. Um, but once you turn that on, then as you can see, you're getting all these, like as I said, like that's like the micro um, reflections almost. And that one's pretty straightforward. In my opinion, if it's a still, you should always have it on. 
with animations, I'd say you should probably have it on too. But like I said, I'm going to get into that in a minute. Um, and then here are the reflection planes. So this one, um, this is something that a lot of people might be doing right now. And if you do stills, again, it's fine. Like going from 20 seconds for a render to a minute is no big deal. Like who cares about the 40 seconds? But if you are doing a 20 uh, hour animation and you end up making it 60 hours, this is something you should not do. Um, so if you came in here and maybe you said like, okay, I'm going to drop it on uh, the water uh, and I'm going to put it on like the glass. And so there's one there. Uh, we'll put it one here. You know, we'll just kind of keep dropping these around. Uh, that's a, I think that, okay. Yeah. So we'll drop it on the floor here. Uh, we'll put one here, you know, we're going to try and get all of the, uh, all the reflection planes in here that we can. Um, so maybe we'll drop another one over here. Uh, something like that. And okay. So yeah, no, I think like one more here. Now I know a lot of people wouldn't do it like this, but I kind of did do this like when I first started, um, because I was like, okay, well there's 10 reflection planes. Like I need to get the most accurate reflections I can, then I'll put as many reflections planes in as possible. But this is not what you should do. Um, in my opinion, you honestly shouldn't even put uh, reflection planes on all of the glass. Um, so if you're doing like kind of like an animation or something, this, you could put the like on this glass like right here because it's right in the foreground and this is where all of the details are going to be kind of showing so it would be fine to put reflection planes on like this but something like this never don't ever put a reflection plane on this because you're not going to get any detail out of this but the render times go up quite a bit and that's something i'm going to get into um in a moment so i'm going to push that one back too because i want to talk about them all at the same time um but yeah, you know, so I feel like a lot of you do know what reflection planes are, but just in case, um, I guess I didn't really make it clear what they do is th this is Lumion's way of getting like very, very accurate reflections. It'll almost like it'll calculate where the camera is and then um, bounce the reflection off and say like, okay, this is what's here. Like these are accurate reflections. Um, and so if you're doing like a panning um, animation or something like that, you do want to have that in if it's like glass. Um, but I really like something like in this scene, I might put it on the glass and like the water because I want the water to like have a uh, have a nice look to it. And honestly, if the water is this kind of like bumpy, I may not even do it then because I'm not really worried about getting a crystal clear reflection. I just want a reflection. So in that case, a reflection cue would probably do the trick. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, I wouldn't put it on this floor because as you kind of see, like, even if I throw this on here, you know, it's not an insane difference. Like it is nicer, but I don't know if that difference is enough for me to want to, um, you know, you know, I don't know if it's enough for me to want to go and spend all that extra render time because this is the part that I kind of wanted to focus on now, uh, is the performance. So. I just wrote a couple numbers down here and I'm going to make the videos that I'm talking about um, all accessible uh, on the drive. And I will actually just flip out of this file. I, I did like this one the most to show the example. But when I did the test videos, I did the museum. Um, so I do just have, a, like I said, a couple of numbers here just so that um, just so that we can kind of like take a look at that. So um, quickly, uh, I set up a 10 second scene where I did uh, 30 frames a second uh, at five stars. Now with just a, um, with only a reflection control cube in there, uh, I was getting render times of five minutes. So it was like 516. Um, so for 10 seconds, uh, I have a 2080 Ti also, if people were kind of uh, wondering about what the graphics card is. So it took five minutes to do 10 seconds. Um, and I think I'll just, uh, I had the scene set up, so I'll just grab uh, copy clip and then I would just go in record. I just hit this so I can make it. Um, and I went, uh, paste clip. I just delete all this out. Um, so all I left was uh, reflection, but I actually turned it off for the first one, but I'm just kind of showing you exactly what I did to test this scene. Um, so reflections there, hyperlight, skylight and shadow are all gone. So what we're now left with is only the reflections, but right now I'm just going to turn these off. So this is what, um, this is what I rendered. Um, I will just change this to 10 seconds because that was the only other change I made. Uh, oops. So, oh, there it is, 10 seconds, okay. 
So basically, I just rendered this animation. And again, you can find all these in the Google Drives. Not only will I label kind of what reflections were used in them, but I'll also put the time in that it took to render so you can get an idea. But I'll just say them kind of out loud. So um, with nothing in it, I'm, I'm just kind of saying that the reflection control in this is nothing. Um, because it's, it doesn't add too much to render time. So we're just going to kind of ignore that. So having nothing in it was 516, having only the speed ray reflections on. So if I turn this on and I delete um, the planes here. So having this on, you might not even see that much of a difference, but I got, um, I got eight and a half minutes with speed ray on. So it does speed things up a fair bit, um, but it's also being compared to not having like any reflections in the scene. So um, it may look a little bit worse than it is. As I said, like in my opinion, you should have speed ray on all the time because it's a really good effect. Um, but adding one plane to that added two minutes on. So now it's at 10 and a half minutes for um, this scene. But instead of um, just having nothing there, I just put one on. And in my opinion, this is what you should use um, because at 10 minutes, you're getting like a really sharp reflection. You're using speed ray, um, but you're not absolutely blowing your scene out because if you go for five planes, which is where I just kind of went in here and you know, I was going like, oh, okay, I'll throw one up here. I gotta have it on the glass here, um, maybe like up here and here. So when I did these five reflection planes, or actually, no, I don't think I did uh, the top one here. I think I did it over here. So I was kind of doing something that may seem like a realistic kind of set of reflection planes, not just like throwing it on the sidewalk and stuff like that. Um, I think I did these ones. It might've just changed a bit, but that was 16 minutes. So now we're looking at basically three times the original render time, and it's going to look almost the exact same. Uh, and so then I did one more test where I, uh, I didn't actually render this whole thing out. I took the estimated time for this one, but I just came in and I threw it on like the road and stuff like that. And as I said, you should probably never put it on the road unless there are actually like puddles on it. Um, in that case, you definitely want the puddles because it, it's a really nice effect to have in Lumion. Um, but yeah, so if you just kind of throw this stuff around here, you know, put this up here and put one over here. So now we have 10 reflection planes in there. And if we put this on normal, uh, it might've been a little bit hard to see the that's why oh, that's actually why it was hard to see the, the changes before. So as you can see, if I'm putting the speed ray on, um, it just looks a lot more full. I, make sure that it's on normal. That's why uh, before you weren't seeing the changes in the uh, speed, right? But you, you kind of get the point. So um, yeah, this scene now, this is, uh, you can see how much slower it is. I'm only getting like seven frames a second. That is now 25 minutes. Um, so if, like, as I said, so if you're doing a scene that's five minutes, you know, it's not that bad if it was in 25 minutes. There's only... Um, 20 minutes difference, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you'd be like, okay, it's 20 minutes. I'll wait for it. But if you are doing a 20 or sorry, a five hour render, and that turns into a 25 hour render, then that's the difference between letting it render overnight, going into like the office or something. And then you have the scene in the morning, you can play around with it the whole day, fix it, and then render it again that night, as opposed to doing 25 hours and putting something overnight to render, not having it the entire day, and then waking up on that morning and going like, oh shit, it's due today and there was a mistake in it. So yeah, they, um, at first, uh, when I first started like using Lumion, I was like, you know, why is it locked at 10 reflection planes? Like, um, that, that's crazy. But now I actually think that that's a ridiculously high number. Uh, I think that the reflection plane should be locked at like three. Um, because they, I feel like people kind of don't understand how expensive they really are. Like, I, I think if a lot of people knew how much time they were losing, um, using the reflection planes, they just wouldn't use them because, you know, it's a great effect. Um, but in this scene, I would quite literally only use it on this main glass because, um, for this kind of like side glass, um, I guess if I just tilt it back here, um, like this side glass over here. And right here, it's just not the focal, like it's not in the area that we're really focusing on. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I'm going to let speed rate kind of do the work for that. Um, Cause over here, I thought it looked really good. So um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to put everything in the Google drive. I really recommend you take a look at it so you can see sort of what the differences are in the render times. Um, in my opinion, the best balance between performance and the best balance between or sorry, the best, the best balance between performance and also quality 
is like one or two reflection planes, speed ray on, um, and then just putting the uh, the reflection cube in the correct place. Because I feel like when you start getting into like the five and six reflection plane categories, that's when you're really starting to increase your render times. And it's like, you're, you're using so much time to kind of figure this out that it's, it's not doing anything for you. Like I could have a scene that I just throw 10 reflection planes on like the walls, the floor, all that stuff. And it will make my scene take, you know, five, six times longer without actually changing anything. So that's something you want, definitely want to keep in mind. Um, if you have all the time in the world to render something and you're not worried about maybe making a mistake and doing revisions, by all means, like don't worry about it. But if you are saying my, like my Lumion animations are taking too long, this is probably the area that's destroying it. Um, Skylight is something that's also pretty heavy. And I think global illumination is too, but that one, I don't think a lot of people use global illumination. So I'd say the main two culprits, if I was a, a, a betting man, is that it's skylight and reflection, but reflection is probably a lot worse than skylight. So um, yeah, uh, that's the end of the video. Um, there really isn't, um, I guess it's not too complicated um, with reflections in Lumion, but this is something that I kind of wanted to do a dive into to kind of talk about why they have each of those things. Um, because at first, when I learned that the reflection control, like the camera gets, uh, is like the default reflection control if you don't have it in, I was kind of like, well, then what's the point of having the cube? And yeah, just to recap, it is because since the camera creates it on the first frame, sometimes the reflection is not where you want it to be on the first frame. Uh, so that just gives you more control over it. Or maybe you don't like where the uh, how the reflection is where the camera um, is sitting so you can just drop it like right on the deck or something like that. And I find it can kind of help the reflections, um, because they're not so bright. Um, and then, yeah, the, the reflection planes, probably the thing in Lumion that will cost you the most in rendering time. So use them sparingly. If you hit 10 in a scene, my recommendation is you actually cut it up into clips. So maybe you don't need to have them all in one because it'll render faster. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then the speed reflections, in my opinion, just always turn this on. It does cost a little bit. It's not ridiculous, but the performance that you get is definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. Uh, help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, uh, like and comment. Um, if you are already subscribed, thank you very, very much uh, for helping me grow the channel. It's been a ton of fun uh, making uh, videos lately. We actually just hit a thousand subscribers today. So, um, that was uh, really cool to be able to, uh, experience that. Um, and, uh, you know, not only that, just to be able to, uh, like grow the community and, uh, meet all you people. So yeah. Um, have a great night guys, and I will see you in the next one.